Welcome to your quick tutorial on how to navigate and get the most value out of the Trade Idea Provider page. Whether you're a new subscriber or just exploring, this guide will walk you through everything you need to know. The metrics you will see here are based on simulated results from the Trade Idea system and do not reflect real trade executions. This tutorial is for educational purposes only and is not intended as investment advice. Start by selecting Providers from the sidebar. This opens a list of available trade idea providers. Click on any provider to view their detailed profile, trading stats, and performance charts. At the top, you'll see a strategy overview, including the provider's trading approach and a link to their communication channel. The trade ideas list shows all trade issued by the provider. Each includes the pair, trade idea type, result, and highest take profit level reached. Keep in mind, your smart assist may close trades differently based on your custom take profit or stop loss settings. Use the filters panel to refine results by time, TP level, trade direction, or symbol. The dashboard updates instantly as you apply filters. These simulated metrics show how the provider's past trade ideas stack up against standard Forex trading benchmarks. Win rate represents the percentage of trades that result in a profit out of the total number of trades executed. A higher win rate generally indicates greater accuracy in identifying successful trade setups. However, it's important to consider win rate in the context of risk to reward ratios. A trader targeting a high RR, one to three, may have a lower win rate, perhaps around 30 to 40%, but still be highly profitable. Conversely, a trader using a more conservative RR, one to one or lower, might aim for a higher win rate of around 50 to 60% to remain profitable. Profit factor. This ratio compares total gains to total losses. A higher profit factor indicates that the provider is generating more profit compared to losses. Maintaining a profit factor around one can be viable with strong risk management and consistent execution. Expectancy. This is an estimate of the average return you can expect per trade, considering the provider's overall trade outcomes. A positive expectancy plus $2 per $1 risk is the goal for most Forex traders. A higher expectancy suggests that over time, you can expect profitable returns per trade on average. Sharp ratio. This measures risk-adjusted returns. A higher sharp ratio means the provider delivers better returns for each unit of risk taken. It's best understood in combination with other metrics like profit factor and win rate. Together, these provide a fuller picture. Sharp tells you how smooth the returns are. Profit factor shows overall profitability. And win rate reflects trade accuracy. Risk to reward ratio. This tells you the potential reward compared to the risk taken. A higher ratio suggests that the provider is aiming for greater returns relative to the amount of risk. Many traders use a 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio, meaning they are risking $1 to potentially make 2 or $3. For example, if the provider is targeting a 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio, it indicates a more aggressive strategy that may produce higher returns with increased risk. Average TP in pips. This shows the average take profit level in pips for the trades executed by the provider. It gives you an idea of where they typically aim to take profits. Professional Forex traders may set TP targets based on market conditions, with typical values ranging from 20 to 100 pips. For day traders, TP may be closer to 20 to 50 pips, while swing traders could aim for higher targets like 100 pips or more. Average SL in pips. This shows the average stop loss level in pips, indicating how much risk the provider is typically willing to take per trade. In the Forex market, Stop loss levels vary based on the trader's style. Day traders might use a smaller stop loss of 10 to 30 pips, while swing traders could use stop loss levels of 50 to 100 pips or more. A tighter SL generally limits risk but can result in more frequent stopouts. Average trade duration, the average time a trade is held. Longer durations may indicate more patient strategies. Day traders typically hold positions for hours or less, while swing traders might hold trades for days or weeks. A short average trade duration, one to three hours, suggests a more active or scalping strategy, while longer durations indicate a more patient trend-following approach. 
long versus short trades. This shows whether the provider prefers buying or selling assets. Industry standard. Many Forex traders, especially those in trending markets, will favor long trades in uptrends and short trades in downtrends. A balanced strategy might show an equal distribution of long and short positions. However, some traders may specialize in one direction, such as predominantly shorting in bear markets. Several charts break down the provider's behavior. TP hit distribution. This shows how often the provider hits different take profit levels. It helps you see which TP levels have historically been successful. Stop loss usage. This chart reveals the most frequently used stop loss levels, showing how much risk the provider tends to take. SL and TP analysis. The SLTP analysis table shows which combinations of stop loss and take profit levels may have yielded the best historical results and helps you understand how providers manage risk. You'll see. The most frequently used stop loss, SL levels, such as minus 30 or minus 40 pips. The most common take profit, TP levels like 15, 51, or 88 pips. From there, the system calculates risk and reward based on those levels. Minimum win rate needed for profitability, showing whether the provider's historical win rate exceeds this threshold. A provider's win rate above the threshold suggests that their strategy has demonstrated historical simulated profitability. You can apply these insights to Smart Assist settings using fixed SL and TP or Smart Entry. For example, you can set a 30 pip stop loss and a 15 pip take profit. With a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio, your TP would be set at 60 pips based on the most frequently used 30 pip SL. The SLTP analysis table can help you explore how different configurations have performed historically in simulation as a way to understand potential trade dynamics. The monthly win rate chart shows you the consistency or volatility of the provider over time. Check how they performed in each month. Pair this with the trade idea volume chart to understand how often the provider generates trade ideas. The overall win rate detail shows total trades, wins, losses, and the win percentage. This gives a good snapshot of the provider's overall performance. A pie chart displays which assets the provider trades most. For example, if 76% of trades are in gold, you'll know where their focus lies. Want to see how real traders fare? The TP and SL hit distribution charts reflect outcomes for subscriber-executed trades. This helps you compare provider predictions with actual results. Finally, the lot size distribution chart shows how much risk subscribers are taking. Are they trading with small conservative lot sizes or taking larger, riskier positions? This gives further context to each strategy's adoption. Now, when we reviewed all the metrics on the page, let's examine how filters can influence the data. By adjusting the time filter, you can view performance data for the last month, three months, six months, or the entire period. This allows you to track how provider performance has changed over time. When filtering by TP level, focus on the first row of metrics. Observe how win rate, profit factor, expectancy, sharp ratio, and TP value and pips correlate with your chosen TP. While the win rate might decrease, both expectancy and TP value and pips increase. When selecting trading sides, you can identify which performed better. Compare the first line metrics, TP hit distribution, SL usage, and SL slash TP analysis for both long and short sides. In this example, the provider shows a higher win rate for short trades. You can analyze further using the assets distribution. For instance, you'll notice that XAUUSD comprises the vast majority of trade ideas. Observe how performance changes after applying this filter. These tools allow you to evaluate providers beyond raw numbers by examining their strategy, consistency, and performance insights. You can customize your analysis using filters to better understand and learn more effectively. To get started, it's recommended to test your strategy first using a demo account. Remember, all these metrics are based on trade ideas simulation and not real trade executions. This is for educational purposes and should not be interpreted as investment advice.